changed to three weeks. because we're really late. Um, <coughs> this talk, you know, uh, it's, it's not like uh, all the, the BS talk we gave before, like we had saving children uh, with Wikipedia. It's a very practical. I just want to give everybody an overview of the different ways that you can use QX4. Um, because um, QX is known for being a, a desktop software for your reading zips uh, offline, which is uh, kind of complicated just describing it. And, uh, but we have a, a, a very vast menu that you can pick uh, ways to use QX from. So, um, okay. so please read the slides because uh, I, I won't be reading them. It's just quick facts. But uh, I think you already know that QX is uh, quite popular uh, already. And uh, for those who don't know what it is, it's uh, a way to uh, access Wikipedia offline. So we have those files, which we call ZIM, which contains the whole Wikipedia or the content. And those are very large files. But once you have the reader and the file, you can access Wikipedia offline. So <coughs> the first version was Kimix Desktop. So it's a regular software that looks like a browser. It works on Windows, on Mac, on Linux. And uh, it has tons of features like a browser. You have uh, bookmarks. You can export to PDF. You can uh, search. There is a full, time, full text search engine, search engine inside. The second way is what we call QX Lite. So just like the, the portable version of softwares, uh, for those who know it on, on Windows, you can run QX off a USB key. And one of the main features of this is that uh, it has a privacy mode. So if you are, for example, a journalist in Iran, you can have this version, you launch it on a stick, on a cyber cafe or anywhere, and when you close the software, it asks you if you want to delete all the data, and it deletes everything. So you're completely anonymous. Um, we have a version for the OMPC Pixel also, which we can demo on the uh, PMCH stand. Um, one of the... <coughs> The very nice feature that we have is that uh, you can use the desktop version as a server. So if you are on a LAN or on a, on a public Wi-Fi or anything, inside the software you can just click a button and it, and it launches a server and uh, with a URL and you can give that URL to your, your peers in the same room and they just click on it and in their browser, uh, they just type the URL and in their browser they see a full version of uh, the offline uh, encyclopedia of the other content, and they can also do uh, research inside. So it's very great for uh, like libraries and uh, other um, uh, other situation like this where there is no IT person, but you can still share the one content in one computer and uh, access it over over the network. Uh, very recent. <coughs> A uh, version of QX is QX for Android, uh, released in uh, in April. We already have uh, a lot of uh, users and uh, great ratings, uh, so it works on phone and on tablets. Um, 
and it's super fast. It's super fast, and it has also the search engine inside, but it's a very uh, custom version, so it doesn't have all the, the feature of the desktop one. Um, next is Kiwix Server. Uh, for uh, intranets, our universities, uh, any large deployments, uh, instead of uh, having the, the, the server mode inside the software, you can use the server version directly, and uh, it's more efficient, and you can centralize all your zip. Maybe you want to have uh, hundreds of gigs of, of zip files, and you can have this on one computer and serve that over the network. And the last one, which is the one used and created for Africa, is the, the QX plug. So it's uh, just a small computer uh, which cost uh, 100 or 150 dollars, and with a USB key containing the zip the zip file, uh, you can surf over the Wi-Fi just plugging it uh, into the the wall plug, and it serves uh, Wikipedia offline. So we actually have one right there. So if you have your computer, you can look at the Wi-Fi networks and select the zip plug, and you'll see exactly what it does. It just plug right there. And uh, so this is a summary of the different versions, and that's it. So we are at the Wikimedia uh, CH stand uh, all day. Uh, if you have questions, if you want zip files, if you want info, if you want info on Africa also, we'll be there. So uh, please come pay us a visit. in the slide that one of the, the biggest success is the Arabic version of the the, the Wikipedia. I mean, in Arabic too, we have worked in an NGA who has uh, made many deployments in the map. And the one thing you want to check is search. Yes. Search may be different. Yes, yes, so, search is not uh, as good as it, as it could be. Uh, yes, sir? Um, it's my understanding that there's um, very little or no support from the foundation to this project, and I'm wondering, is that a comfortable position, and are there things that can be done to improve, um, are there resources that you need that we can help with? Uh, yes and no. The, the foundation had uh, uh, very changing support over the years uh, regarding uh, uh, QX, but uh, it, it improved over time. and. Uh, uh, also, Wikimedia France and Wikimedia CH uh, especially uh, did help and support the project. And I think we, we don't really need money now, but we need uh, more developers and, and people to help, uh, improve the software, which is very difficult because the main developers are the two developers, regular developers are me and Emmanuel, who's sitting there, and that's it. So we don't have much time, and uh, that's more what we need.
for all the, the project because that's the, the main thing that they have in common is the French language. And also for Mali, for example, there are local languages, but uh, the only Wikipedia in one of those lo local languages is Bambara, and uh, there's only 130 articles inside. So it wasn't of much use. So we used French for all the, the materials. What feedback did you get? Feedback about what? The content? Yes. Yeah, content is uh, used for stu by students and teachers to, to prepare uh, work. Uh, in the uh, primary school, it's very useful for teachers. That's what uh, they paid uh, to us. Uh, but it's uh, the same feedback uh, of everything with Wikipedia. It's, uh, wow, we have uh, content about anything and every, every subject. So what is very important is to I think the main change is uh, that they had access to Wikipedia before, but very slow, very expensive on the internet cafe uh, with offline access. They just can uh, surf a page, a page, a page, I want to read, I want to read, and just go uh, from articles to other articles like every people uh, do in, uh, in uh, rich countries. So it's, uh, I think it's a uh, a step uh, in uh, access to knowledge to, to be very uh, to have a very uh, easy access to Wikipedia. I'm asking about customization because uh, we did a similar project in Kenya and Tanzania, and uh, one of the feedback we got was that the content was too westernized, and uh, in subjects like history and geography, it wasn't it really suits the, the, the Kenyan and Tanzanian curriculum. So, Okay, so uh, just about Mali, but every uh, country is kind of specific, but for Mali, uh, they didn't really access Wikipedia before because uh, they didn't knew it exists, even at the Ministry of Education, uh, barely nobody knows about Wikipedia. So it was completely new content for them, and um, uh, as, as she said, uh, it's mostly used in universities, this project, and uh, they are very happy with uh, uh, scientific uh, articles and biology and, uh, and uh, other courses. But <coughs> uh, nobody complained about the westernization of the content uh, at all. The only complaint is that uh, <coughs> they want it to be refreshed uh, a little more often. Uh, because uh, I think we said we would refresh it every six months and we didn't really bend the, the schedule. And uh, like for example, when we started in Abidjan, it was in November, and uh, it, like it was during the election of uh, the, the re-election of Obama, and uh, this information did not appear, of course, in the Wikipedia. And these are the kind of things they complained about. But nobody Sorry, complained I think about. There's a big difference here. Josan said the experience of us was describing was the selection of the English Wikipedia, which oh. was for the UK. <laughs> not contain a lot of really basic things about Kenya, so there was bad feedback. You okay. are giving away the entire French Wikipedia. Yes, right? that's the entire yeah. Wikipedia. We, oh, we are not using a selection because yeah. Yeah. Uh, the English oh. version is too big, but, so that's why you, you were maybe yeah. using yeah. a selection. Uh, I can add something. Uh, that's when they, they, they see that the content about the countries and cities is very, very poor on French Wikipedia, it's a, a very uh, good motivation to contribute. It's very interesting to, to, to uh, start a contribution after reading what Wikipedia said about that country. Uh, sorry, the time is, is over now, but you can ask us questions outside. We just have to go to. Just come on.